time for a coffee? No. Is that no, I haven't got time for a coffee, or no, I haven't got time for a coffee with you? What do you think? See my solicitor later. Could I get the ball rolling? It is what you want, isn't it? Yes. Just checking. I never know with you. One minute it's sex, the next a divorce. I've also made an appointment for you uh, with another practice, but in the same office block. We can go together. No, I can get my own solicitor. Well, the sooner we get this sorted, the better. What time? Eleven. I can't, I'm working. Why can't you get a couple of hours off? No, I can't, Sean. What type of job is that? A job with responsibilities. And just to think, I knew you and you were nothing. Thanks. Things change, don't they? I thought you wanted to get rid of me as quickly as possible. I'll take an early lunch. What made you change your mind? Well, I can't make you be with me if you don't want to. Why do you always think the worst of me? Experience. OK, well, I'll pick you up outside the college gates at, say, half past. Thanks. Being civilised about this and not trying to score points off each other, finally move on with our lives. You know, make a clean break. Relationship counsellor. Let me explain. Louise. Is this some sort of joke? No. I knew you were up to something, well, Sean. I had to trick you, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Go and see a relationship counsellor when you want to save a relationship. I do. I don't. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared of what? Finding out you want to be with me. Uh, yeah, right, Sean. You're in denial. No, you are. Oh, I've told you a thousand times. I want a divorce. You're scared that if you're forced to confront your feelings, you'll have to admit that you do want to be with me. You're not listening to me. I have told you. It's over. I want... Prove me wrong, then. Fine. I will. Uh, I'm here to listen. To see if we can find a common ground between you, which could be used as a basis for reconciliation. And if not, to help devise a strategy, uh, agreeable to both parties, so that you can part amicably without... Uh, any lasting resentment or recrimination. Sounds good. Right. So we can get the most out of our sessions. I would like you both to speak truthfully and refrain from interrupting whilst the other one is having their say. And finally, to promise that what is said in this room stays in this room. Scouts, let's get started, shall we? First of all, I would like you to tell me why you're here. Ladies first. All right. How about we toss a coin? Heads or tails? Why don't you go first, Sean? Is that OK? Please yourself. You usually do. The reason why I'm here is simple. I love her. <laughs> and despite our differences, I want us to be together. The reason I'm here is simple, too. Marrying him was the biggest mistake of my life. And to be frank, I wish I'd never met him. Ever. I was manager of a club in Ibiza, and she came to me for a job, wearing high heels, gold hot pants, and a sparkly bra. I was always on the lookout for good-looking girls. You can say that again. Who could dance and help create the right vibe. So I hired her on the spot. It was love at first sight. Lust at first sight. I could have had any woman I wanted. You did. But I chose her. Lucky me. Do you have a problem with commitment? I married her, didn't I? That's not what he asked. No. Anyway, uh, that night we slept together. He didn't need to know that. And three months later, we were married on a beach. We were young. It was crazy times. Stupid. Uh, you said it was the happiest day of your life? He was cheating on me before the ink was dry on the marriage certificate. Well, as she said, these were crazy times. Uh, they didn't mean anything, it was just sex. <laughs> he actually used that in his defence. Trust is the most important thing in any relationship. I agree, but Sean doesn't know the meaning of the word. You can talk. I didn't sleep with anyone. She ran off with my money. My money? We started a property company. Timeshare. It was just about to take off. And I took what was owed to me. You took it without asking in my book, that's stealing. You'd know all about stealing, wouldn't you? Uh, how long had you been married before you left? Three months. I just couldn't take it anymore. She was having the time of her life. Him cheating on me. Clubbing every night. Finding out the timeshare business wasn't legit. Uh, take no notice. The fights. Which she always started. You wound me up. You still do. We had a fight in a supermarket once. 
She clobbered me with a cucumber. You're lucky we weren't in the frozen food section. Please. Don't worry. This is normal for us. We have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, he loves himself. I hate him. You see? Look, I I'd like you both to uh, focus on the things you like about each other. You know, highlight the positives instead of the negatives. Well, she's good-looking. She's got a great body. She's sexy. A trophy. That's all I am to him. That's all I ever was. Somebody who looks good on his arm. I can't even give her a compliment. There is more to me than that. If you let me finish... No, because... Thank you. She's intelligent, a good fun, or at least she used to be. I still am. And when we're together, there's never a dull moment with are trying to get into bed or kill each other. What? Do you want his good points? Well, surely there must be something. <laughs> Sorry. Well, let me help you then. I'm generous. You're flash. I'm in good shape. Vain. I'm good in bed. A fantasist. You never complain. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. She's too opinionated. No, I don't give in to you. And stubborn. I stand up to you. She's... Let's move on. If you could change anything about each other, what would it be? Nothing. I wouldn't. I mean, I know she's got her faults, but well, so have I. And if I changed her, say, to be uh, less intense, well, there wouldn't be the same chemistry between us. You know, that, that spark that makes being with her exciting. So, although she's far from perfect, but she's perfect to me. How long have you got? I try to be nice. Nice? Less intense, far from perfect? For a start, I'd make him less sarcastic. I'm only having a laugh. I don't find him funny. Yeah, you know, on second thoughts, if I was to change something about her, I'd get her to look like to get her to like... You've had your say. Please. I'd make him less cocky. It's called confidence. And competitive. I like to win. And he's never happy with what he's got. I'm ambitious. Insecure. Please. But if I've got so many faults, why did you sleep with me again? I've been asking myself the same question. Please. You like me. Admit it. No, I don't. I think you're a vain, egotistical, arrogant pig. You're still drawn to me. Why is that? I don't know what I ever found attractive in him in the first place. I'll tell you, you'd be bored with anyone else. I'd take bored and happy. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. I excite you. You annoy me. Look, could we stop this? Then why haven't you had a boyfriend since? Because you've put me off men. Because no one compares to me. Don't flatter yourself, you egotist. That's it. I give in. You're giving up on us already? In all my years in the job, I've never met two people more unsuited to each other. You don't need a marriage counsellor. You need a United Nations peacekeeping force. OK, so we're a bit volatile. We're strong-minded. Yeah, exactly, and it's better to let it out than keep it all bottled up, isn't it? Goodbye, Mr and Mrs Kennedy. It's Miss Summers, Miss Louise Summers. Whatever. Oh, I see you're not wearing a wedding ring. So you're not married, then. Would you like me to call security? So who are you to give us relationship advice if you're not even married yourself? Please leave. Come on. No, I don't think we should leave. In fact, I... Oh. No! I don't think we should. For the past hour, you've been trying to... Get out of my way. Did you really have to do that? Yes, I did. He's a hypocrite. Who's he to advise us? Well, you should be happy. You got what you wanted. You proved that we shouldn't meet together. Or did you? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. You should think about anger management. And you should think about shutting up before I punch you. What is your problem? You are!